All right, welcome to my assembly tutorial. I'm going to show you some basic assembly uh, commands. We use. Uh, I'm going to load up Debug. This is a 16-bit uh, disassembler, assembler, and hex editor. It's found in all MS-DOS and 32-bit uh, versions of Windows. I'm using DOSBox uh, DOS box to run this since I'm using a 64-bit version of Windows. So um, here we're presented with the uh, subcommand prompt. We have the question mark, which allows us to see all the subcommands within debug.exe. The most important command to use when uh, entering assembly code is the A command, which will allow us to enter assembly mode and enter in these, those uh, assembly commands. Uh, the default address that it starts at is 100, since debug can only assemble comp files, and comp files start at the address 100. Uh, the first 255 bytes of the file before this address is known as the program segment prefix, which uh, DOS uses for information about this comp file, and also holds the uh, command line arguments for this for the uh, currently running program. So um, I'm going to enter some, uh, show you some basic commands. The move command, you've probably seen this the most. It, uh, it copies a value that you specify into a specified register. So um, the registers that you have are AX, BX, CX, DX. There's some more registers, but these are the general purpose registers that we're going to focus on. So if I would say move AX1234, uh, that will move 1234 into AX. I'm going to use a G command to run this, to run uh, instructions from 100 to 103, which is the single instruction. And we'll see that after it ran this instruction, uh, 1234 is placed into AX as its new value. I'll show you more, more examples of this command. We could say move AX3. Uh, this will move uh, 3 into the uh, lower part of AX. Um, AX is equal to uh, AH and AL. These are the uh, two one-byte halves of it. Um, the first two digits of AX is, is AH, and the last two digits are AL. Um, every two bytes, every two digits of hexadecimal is one byte. So um, I'm going to run this command, run this instruction, and we see that uh, 3 is placed into AX. That's 3 into the lower part, AL. So if we say, uh, I'm going to show you more instructions. Move AH to, uh, move 34 to AH, move AL uh, 12. Let's run that. Uh, we see that 34 is placed into AH, which is the first two bytes, uh, the first one byte of AX, and uh, AL is equal to 12. That's the last two digits of AX. Um, well, since we covered that instruction, we can also uh, see that uh, there's also um, uh, math instructions. We can use the add to add a certain number to AX, such as add 24 to AX, and that will add 24 to the uh, lower part of AL, which is AX. Um, let's run this instruction. Uh, so uh, 3412 plus 24 equals 3436. Um, there's also the uh, subtract instruction, which allows us to uh, subtract from specified register. I'll subtract uh, 1,000 from AX, and if we run that instruction, we see that uh, the previous value of AX was 3,436 minus 1,000 is 2,436. Uh, more commands also include. Uh, There's the uh, DB instruction. This allows us to actually insert um, characters within our file without specifying assembly code. So the clear byte will, ins we could say, if we use um, quotations, we can insert their ASCII equivalents, such as hello world. And we can escape characters by using the comma and then specifying their character values, such as 24, uh, 21, D, A. And I'm just going to insert some more instructions in here. Uh, you know. So I'm going to use the unassemble command to, uh, actually the dump command. This command allows us to view uh, data within the loaded memory. I'll dump at address 100 and uh, we can see that the data that we declared uh, right here um, is hello world and followed by the uh, dollar sign and the exclamation point. Those are the two values. 24 is dollar sign, 21 exclamation. Uh, D and A are character turn and line feed. Um, so it, on this right side, it uh, shows us the ASCII equivalence of those um, bytes that it's dumping. And if it's not um, displayable with, uh, as ASCII, then it's, uh, it's going to sh within the console. It's going to show it as a, a dot. Right here in the middle, we have the byte values of it. And on the left, right here, we have the offset addresses of that. You can also use the unassemble command. It'll uh, unassemble and show us the disassembly of the uh, data that it has loaded at the specified address. I'm going to use 100. And uh, it shows us, um, since we declared those data as like uh, basically ASCII, it's just a bunch of strings. These uh, 
these are their um, assembly code instruction equivalents. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't really do anything. But right here, we have the unassembled assembly code and their byte values, uh, byte values uh, converted to assembly code, and their uh, offset addresses that they're located at. Uh, there's also a, another command that you must know. It's known as the int instruction. This instruction, uh, followed by uh, any value, allows us to execute a software interrupt. It will anal uh, usually it will analyze the value of the AH register and perform a subfunction. And uh, parameters for that subfunction is placed into other uh, registers. So um, the uh, 21 vector of the interrupt is the um, MS DOS API. It allows us to uh, uh, do uh, calling functions within DOS. So um, with that said, we're going to make our first uh, Hello World file. I'm going to move uh, 9 into AH. Uh, DX will equal uh, 10C. I'll explain this later. Uh, so right now, 9 is the uh, subfunction within the int 21 to uh, print the string and the argument for that is placed into DX, which points the string to print. This is uh, 100C. Notice that the address down here, 100C right here, is where our uh, string is located. So this is an address pointing to that. The string that it will print, it will print the string until it reaches a dollar sign, then it will stop printing. Uh, next, we have the interrupt 21 to execute that command. Next, we have AH equal to 4C and AL equal to 0. Uh, the 4C uh, for AH function means that we're going to exit, and AL is... Uh, has the value of the return code to place for the error code, and then I'll execute that instruction. So I'm going to use the h command to find the length of our uh, of our code. We stopped at address 118, and we started at address 100, and we could see that it outputs uh, two um, values. The first value is the sum of these two numbers that we placed, and the next value is the uh, uh, difference of it. So we're going to put, put that into the uh, CX register of debug. This will show us um, the uh, CX register of debug contains the number of the value of the number of bytes loaded. So uh, we're going to put 18 in there. Uh, so whenever a debug is going to write to a file, it's going to take the number of bytes specified by CX and write. Uh, next, we use the end command to specify the uh, file that we're going to create. It's uh, hello.com. Then we use the command W to write it, and it wrote 18 bytes. We're going to quit and run that file. As you can see, it printed out hello world, just like we said. Um, I'm going to show you more commands and other uh, concepts with assembly later, but right now you should um, uh, read up more on it, and uh, that's my uh, tutorial.